Hey guys, I'm back for another video and welcome to Minecraft Sky Factory episode 19 and my freaking uh -huh. What? Anthony. What? You just called me in the middle of an episode or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot talk right now. <laughs> and ignore the fire. Hi. Hello, and then goodbye. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. Anthony just called in the middle of an episode and scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I feel kind of bad because he just called me. Yeah, I, I can't. Whoa. That's my thing. You can't call me in the middle of a recording on Skype. You can't catch me, Anton. Or Anthony. Enderman. Die. Gotcha. And yes, the fire alarm's still going on. It's the same day as last episode. Really, Enderman? Really, with all the noise, Enderman? Okay, so anyway, uh, what I was going to do in the last episode, but then decided to save for this one, is the stone barrel. So, oh, and by the way, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty solid in my belief that... This day is a good day in the world of YouTube for me because <laughs> this, I've hit the peak of YouTube video quality. Now, if you guys are wondering what the hell I'm talking about, just look at what you're watching. It's a 1080p, 60fps video with an HD webcam, an HD microphone, and it's got all the nice vignette and everything, and I've got, ugh, and the editing I'm putting into this, I mean, I think my quality hit top notch. Now, if you guys don't agree with me and you're like, oh, you need to record in 1440p, you don't. I don't. I don't need to do that because there's nobody that has a 1440 screen yet. I mean, there are a lot of you out there probably, like at least 100, but still, it's not enough people to convince me that I need to start recording in a ridiculously high resolution. Like, 1080p is enough. It's amazing, actually. You can definitely tell the difference between 720 and 1080, but 1080 and 1440, I don't know. I don't know. So, um, anyway, I was told that if you were to put lava in a stone barrel along with redstone, then you get netherrack, which I think would be amazing because, as you guys know, fire is the most efficient thing to power a crucible. So, I want to do that. So, let's see. I'm going to not throw all that in there because I have a specific place for all these things. Alright, I need lava. I need a bucket. Lava bucket. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Huh, where's the bucket? Two iron ingots in there. And I do not see... In four minutes, I gotta go downstairs for some reason. Apparently, it's a really cool thing. I don't know. <sighs> I need to find my bucket in the meantime. Bucket, where are you? Am I being really stupid or are you actually gone? I can just see the. Oh, there's a bucket. And I can't help but, like, these items, I've got to fix this. I need to find a way to automatically pick those freaking things up. I don't know. Okay. Time to grab a lava bucket from here. One of many. And I need to eat something, actually. Let's see. Do I have apples? Yes. Good. Let's not throw an ender pearl, because that would be very bad. Because if I throw it, then I'm probably going to die. Because it will send me out in the middle of the void. Okay. So anyway, let's try this. Let's see if this freaking works. Ha-cha! Yeah! <gasps> well, that was a lot simpler than I thought. <laughs> that's amazing. I could actually, like, duplicate lava doing that because you get four buckets of lava from one piece of, um, what's it called? From one piece of netherrack. That is just awesome. Thank you for commenting that, whoever did. Very, 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 very helpful indeed. Oh my gosh, that is useful. Because now my crucibles are going to be going, like, 30% faster, I think. <laughs> and actually, I, sh I probably should be taking my lava buckets from down here, now that I think about it. Not from there. Blech. I need to take it from... Oh, I don't even have a freaking pickaxe. Oh, my god. I need my pickaxe. How's this been doing? Okay. 
I need a pickaxe. Uh, da, 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 da. I have to leave in two minutes. <laughs> so I have to be freaking ready. Okay, wooden pickaxe. I really don't need you. Okay, so let's just make a stone one. Dip yeah. This is getting super efficient now that I'm actually getting into the mod crap. It's pretty awesome. All right, stone pickaxe. So I'm going to go in here, take this, yep, and yeah. So then I could just turn that into netherrack. Yep, yep, yep. Awesome. And then we just go do it again. And of course, I'm going to keep on collecting that crap. And pickaxe. Yep. And I don't have a piece of cobblestone to put there. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I need more cobble to put in my hot bar so that doesn't happen again. That was kind of risky. Okay, deep, 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 and beep, beep, beep. Give me that. Ah, give me that. I can't freaking my my voice has been cracking a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot like whoa, huh? you son of a, you almost hit me off the edge. No, you dropped so much stuff. <laughs> that one skeleton dropped like a bajillion things for a second there. What the hell? That was cool. That one skeleton dropped like some all the loots. Okay. I really got to like put all this away. Look at all that iron. It's such a beautiful thing. Four pieces of four ingots of iron. Oh, I see now I'm saying pieces of things because Anthony freaking like kept saying that and then for some reason I caught on to it. Thanks a lot, Anthony. You freaking called in the beginning of this episode. <laughs> okay. So now I gotta get rid of this and then replace it with netherrack. And then oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's gonna be even faster lava production, but there's no reason for it yet. Um, kind of there is, because I can use it with a lava fabricate. Wait a minute, I could make a lava generator. <gasps> I could make a lava generator that uses redstone, and then therefore get. Where's this? Oh, the zombies being annoying. If there's a way to automate the process of getting redstone other than sieving, then I'll have infinite power because I can use like geothermal crap. Ooh, that's gonna be cool. All right, I'm gonna. Get this lava bucket in here and then use a piece of redstone. Thank you. And I've got a bunch of netherrack because what I can do is generate a piece of netherrack, automate the process of turning it into netherrack using the redstone with the autonomous activator. And then all I would do is just put the netherrack back into the crucible and it should give me four buckets of lava. Therefore, one piece of redstone gives me three buckets of lava. Yeah. How awesome is that? Because one piece of redstone giving me that much freaking lava? That is efficiency right there. Especially when just now I've got like more than 20 pieces. Okay, you know what? Less than 20 pieces. I've, I said pieces again. Damn it, Anthony. Freaking infecting me with his ways of speaking. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but it's annoying because it's not how I normally talk. Okay. All right, I gotta go clear out this chest underneath the um, the transfer node because this is freaking full of cobble. And I wanna make sure this is still going at like full efficiency. So I'm gonna keep on taking the cobble out and moving it somewhere. Like into here, for example. And I don't care if it's for egg production because there's no way this thing's gonna fill up with eggs yet. Okay, so I need flint and steel. Uh, luckily, I've got enough iron. Uh, do I have any flint anywhere? Flint, yes. Flint and steel. Thank you. Uh, bed up. And bed up. Oh, God, I gotta go downstairs. Oh, no. All right, you know what? I'm gonna light these. And I'm gonna go pause over here, and I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, and I'm a little annoyed. No, I'm pretty annoyed at something my stepdad did. 
the thing that I was supposed to be excited about was ultimate pizza with meat, cheese, sauce, sausage, bacon, a lot of awesome stuff. But they decided to add something new this time. Mushrooms. And they never said crap. And I took a couple bites and then almost threw up. I dry I dry heaved. And then was just I just walked out of the room and I'm like, no. I am not eating that. I am probably the pickiest person you're ever going to know if you do know me. And that is a big no-no. I am disgusted right now and disappointed because I was really looking forward to that pizza. And now I know that I'm not going to eat another bite of it. No. Not. No. <laughs> I have nothing good to say about that anymore. That That's just no. So anyway, back to Minecraft. Oh, God. My stomach, I, I legitimately do not feel good right now because of that. I'm not very happy about that. Does transfer liquid, wait, is liquid transfer pipe a thing? Because if it is, hold on. Transfer. Is there such a thing as liquid pipe? I don't know. <gasps> wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait, 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 autonomous node, items, uh, uses, is there a liquid, <gasps> ooh, bucket, two iron ingots and lapis, let's freaking do this, I might be able to get automatic lava collection out of these, okay, so I need two iron, and what else do I need, uh, transfer node liquids, three iron, oh, two iron bucket transfer node, okay, Bucket, two of this, transfer node, oh god, I am so disgusted right now, <laughs> so ridiculously disgusted right now, mm -mm. I am never going to eat that pizza again, hmm, well that was, that worked, I'm glad that works, well that's pretty awesome, cause now it extracts the lava, <laughs> Wait, so I can get, like, fully automatic crap? Wait, wait, wait. I need, like, a tank of some sort. Like, a liquid tanker. A uh, tank. I need uh, a seared tank. Tank. Open blocks. How do you get obsidian, though? Oh, duh. <laughs> I'm a stupid. Okay. I need glass panes, then. That should be easy to get. Um, okay. I need sand for that. I had like five bites of that pizza and then I felt something squishy when I freaking <laughs> when I bit down and then instantly like my insides were just like no no don't want any of this I'm still really pissed off that they did that to me that's just no you don't give a picky kid that has trouble eating like there was a time not too long ago when I didn't eat hamburgers that was like two years ago and now i still am like sauce on pasta is no soup no like i'm one of those people i'm extremely picky and the mushrooms just bleh. that's like the equivalent of giving like a normal five-year-old a mushroom pizza and then seeing what they freaking do that's what I experienced. Because I have the pickiness of a five-year-old. And I am not um, disappointed in myself or anything. That's just how I am. And that was just no. <laughs> so anyway, now that that's over, I'm going to make some tanks to store this infinitely generating lava. Which is freaking amazing. Um, I've been getting a lot of materials as well. I'm automating all the things. And I'm going to have to finish that trap. Oh yeah, conveyor belt. Someone said something about conveyor belts. Conveyor belts. Ooh. Conveyor belt. Ceramic die. Alright, alright. Wait, what's it? Oh, wait. Why would I need that? 
It doesn't really do anything. Okay, I need rubber, redstone, and iron. And he gets 16. That is definitely something I might want to do. Thanks for the idea, person. Now, the only problem is, do they need power? Do conveyor belts use power? I don't know. All right, well, I need to put that lava somewhere. So let's just, here, I'm gonna block this off with cobble, which I can just grab from here if I need it. And then, I could just go up to this and take some transfer pipe, which I'm pretty sure will probably work with the liquids. And if it doesn't, then I'm screwed. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> da -na -na -na. Na. Oh, I think it works. Okay, good. Still not 100% sure if that actually works, but you know. Yep. Still collecting that crap. Okay. <laughs> and then I have my tank down here. It's a tank. So now all I need is obsidian. So all I gotta do is make another bucket because I used one to make that um, liquid transfer node over there. And then I just take a piece of lava, put it down near a piece of water, and make obsidian. And I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's gonna be relatively simple. Beep. <gasps> no! Crap. I just placed the water directly on top of the freaking lava. That's not what I wanted to do. Damn it. Crap. I just wasted like 16 pieces of cobblestone. Who cares? Okay. Oh, but I need a diamond pick to pick it up. Oh. That's annoying. Hmm. How else can I pick that crap up? Hmm. Is there a way to craft obsidian, maybe? Maybe. Obsid. Obsidian. How do you craft obsidian? Force freeze. Obsidian essence. Freaking. Obsidian. Okay. Well, crap. I don't think that's possible right now. I need diamonds, which means I need to automate sieving. Which means I need to somehow automatically pick up the items. Oh, God. All right. Well, is there still dust in this thing? Just barely. I'm going to have to put more in there later. Um, and by later, I mean now. Okay. I still am, like, clouded in the head right now. I'm just so disoriented from that freaking experience. There's going to be some trust issues from now on with that freaking food. Yeah. Okay. So, no. You go there. All right. How much stuff do I have? How much iron, specifically? I have broken aluminum. How do you even get the broken ores? I don't even remember how that works. Pulverized iron. Uses. I guess they took it out of the game? Maybe. No. I don't know. Make it in the dust. I, I really thought that it did something. Hey, blaze powder. I didn't know you dropped blaze powder. I probably did know and forgot. <laughs> Where's my hammer? I feel like there was supposed to be something that happened there. I don't know. Yeah, what ifs. Well, um, I don't know. Oh, 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 I can't make a tank because, ah, oh, duh. <laughs> I need, wait, can I like place down a bucket? No. Wait, can I get a stone barrel and then just use that? Ooh. Can I just take the stone barrel and put it underneath and have it put lava in there and I can just take it out with a bucket? Huh? Maybe. Aha! I can extract it from here. Awesome. That's pretty awesome, actually. I can do that. That's pretty cool. And then I can just put more of them here and then just have it all go into what's going to be a tank. But for now, you know. All right. Well, um, I don't know. I think that should be it for this episode, guys. You know what? No. I'm going to keep going. I haven't been doing this for very long, so let's keep going. So, well, this is like giving me infinite crap. I need to pick it up automatically. So I'm going to look up how to do that. So, well, there might be just an easy way. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What if water currents are running over this? Will it screw everything up? Or will it do what I think it's going to do and just run the items directly into something? Ooh, now that's an idea, all right? All right, let's freaking do this. I'm thinking what I do is exactly what I just described. <laughs> Big surprise. Okay, so let's get some wood. And I'm going to build this little extension like over, I don't know, over here somewhere. So then I'll have the cobblestone generator right next to the um, this automated sieve place thing. Okay, so let's go like this. Make a higher up platform out of wood. And then on this higher up platform, I am going to have not only a sieve, 
I'm gonna have a bunch of sieves actually, in a big line, and then autonomous activators leading into them, and then them I can figure out how to fill. Okay, so up here is where the autonomous activator is gonna be. Okay, so I go like this. Okay, so then the transfer nodes are gonna be on this side, and the sieve will be over here on this side. So I need to make a bunch of sieves. Okay, we're gonna have to temporarily take down this mess over here. <laughs> Complete mess. All right, you're going down. I'm gonna take all the stuff in you first, just in case if you don't drop it. And your mine. Finish that process. Thank you very much. Oak sieve. How do you make this again? Um, silk mesh. Sticks and oak planks. Silk mesh is made from all string. How much string do I have? Uh, excuse me. Plenty. All right. Perfect. So what I need to test here is how not to die. Oh my gosh, I freaking ran right into this almost. Let's not do that. Okay, so. And then I just make a nice little barrier here out of wood. Just so I don't fall. And bam, 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 bam. Did not mean to do right there. I know this is like the ugliest base of all time, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. So now what I plan on doing is the autonomous activator has to be facing into this. So then I go, and I put you there. Perfect. So now it's automatically doing that, but I'm going to make these walls a little bit higher just in case if for some reason this fuse items everywhere. <laughs> and yep, 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 yep. Okay. That's all the wood I have. And good. It's automatically seeping just like I thought it would. So now, you know what? Why am I building out of wood? I have infinite cobblestone, don't I? <laughs> this is going to be the ugliest building of all time, people. I'm sorry. That's just how it's going to have to make Complain later. But now, <clears throat> full on efficiency. So I'm going to, <clears throat> my goodness, my throat. Ah. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and then maybe get whatever's left of the string, which is not, oh, I'll take that. And let's craft as much silk mesh as I'm going to need. I think a little bit more than that. I'm going to need somewhere around, 21 should be good. Okay. So then I get a bunch of these. I need some sticks. So oak logs, bam. Now I need some sticks for this. It's hard to do this when your inventory's full. I'm going to throw this glass over there for now. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. And I believe I do that. Oak sieves. 10 of them? <laughs> Thought I had more. Oh, okay, whatever. I think that's enough. Whoa. I just threw them out there. Okay, I need to, like, get rid of all this. Too much crap in my inventory right now. All right. So then I take all these sieves and put them in a nice line. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, <laughs> beep. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's just so perfect. All right. So what the plan is, is if I get a water bucket. You know what? I just kind of thought about it. Water only goes so far. I'm not going to need all those sieves. All right. Uh, water bucket. Where are you? Uh, no. Water. Where are you? I can't find a water bucket. Oh, no. Where is it? Is it in my inventory? No. Hello. Water bucket. Seriously? Seriously? I can't find the water bucket. <laughs> I have a lot of tin, I just realized. Might as well smelt up all of that. Boop. Seriously though, where's all my... Where is my bucket? I had a bucket. <laughs> the hell happened to my bucket? Where? Am I, am I that stupid or is there... Uh oh, I didn't like that place up over there. I need torches. <laughs> Make torches. Kill zombie. <laughs> torches. Need to light this area up over here. Mine, this, that. Okay, where is my bucket? Seriously, I need it. I am being really stupid right now, probably. Bucket, where did you go? I literally have to check like every freaking chest for this bucket. Where did you go? Do I seriously have to like craft a new bucket? Because I can't craft a new bucket, craft a bucket. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to craft another bucket because I don't freaking know where it went. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks a whole freaking, wait a minute. Did you? You freaking lo- Uh huh? It took my- It took my damn water bucket! Oh, you son of a- <laughs> Oh! Wow! The barrel stole it from me. <laughs> the better barrel. <laughs> okay, let's see if this works. I'm gonna get water. Um, let's get it from over here because I have water over here. Yep. And then I'm going to use it to automatically take the items from here and... Please, please work, please work. Oh. Uh -huh. Good. I don't need these sieves here. I only have enough room to hold everything else. Now let's see what happens once these items are created. Are you going to do something or what? It's still working. Oh! <gasps> oh! <laughs> it works! I'm a genius! Automated sieving, here we go. Oh, this is awesome. And to make it like a guarantee that nothing's going to freaking touch it, I can just go like this. Oh, that's amazing. I could just, oh, I could just put a hopper there and it's done already. Oh, that's so epic. Then I just put a whole bunch of autonomous activators 
<laughs> that was a weird sound I just made. But, oh my gosh, that is amazing. Okay, so all I need to do now is cover this area up. Because it doesn't need to be open. And all I need over is over here. I only need right here. Awesome. So then I just take the hopper and put it somewhere over here. I'm thinking I'd just build outwards a little. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Alright. And then I just put a double chest right there, and then we're ready to go. Bam. And then I'm going to end the episode because it's been going for a while for me. But I need another hopper. Ah! Wait. There's got to be a hopper somewhere. Hopper. Where are you? Hmm. Do we have any hoppers? Where did they all go? Oh. My automated lava thingy. Oh, jeez. I think it's maxed out right now. Okay. I have no inventory space. <laughs> I have no inventory space right now. Okay. Dump all of this crap everywhere. Just get it out of my freaking inventory. Okay. And I need food now. Apples, something? Maybe? Oh, crap. I'm gonna have to use this wheat to make bread. Need that. Boom. Bread. Alright. And good. Alright, so now. Pick all that up. And get rid of, like, my entire hot bar as far as inventory space goes. <laughs> Ugh. Whoa. Alright, so I'm gonna take these hoppers, which I don't... Or this hopper I don't need anymore. Over here. And I'm going to repurpose it so that it works right here. And then I just go... Um, bam, bam, and bam. Does that go into it? I can't really see. Alright, just to be sure, let's do that again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Now I know for a fact that's going into there. So, there we go. Perfect. Now we have automated sieving and collection. How awesome is that? And it's about to be, um, here, how much is in there? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to be seven of these when I'm done. <laughs> So just think about that for a second, how efficient that's going to be. So anyway, that's it for this episode, guys. So leave a like down below if you enjoyed. And um, in the next episode, I'm probably going to... I don't know. Now that the sieving process is automated, I'm thinking about just making more transfer nodes and just getting it to be more efficient. And possibly be able to get diamonds. I don't know. Maybe. And then eventually I'll get that. Maybe the... Hmm transfer thingies the um conveyor belts i might want to do a lot of things on the agenda which is great for a let's play because it keeps it alive but as purpose so anyway that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys later